gonna. Oh, I show you. I have no idea what to do here. Should I take one of these? It's too early to do that. I'm Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a beautiful day. I don't know about you, I'm so excited. I'm just here, you know, doing what I love doing, just talking to you guys and um yes. I don't know what you think today I'm wearing. I'm just going to tell you a short story about this week that I'm wearing today. It's a very interesting story, but I hope you will like it. You will find it interesting. So I'm just going to, I'm doing this video not just for style or something today. It's just a different, different story. I'm just going to share it with you guys. So I'm just going to set down my vid my camera and I'm just going to get down to it. Okay. See you in a few. So I'm just going to grab something to drink real quick. I'm in the kitchen now. I'm just gonna oh I show you I have no idea what to pick here should I take one of this or just something from there you know it's too early to do that I'm just gonna grab some milk no some banana juice this is one of my favorite yeah it's cold and I'm gonna take it so I can sit down and get down to it yeah so what do you think about my week today? It's so nice, you guys. Oh my god, I love it. Hmm. Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. So, today, before I even start, I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed, who have been watching, who have been following my videos. I'm really grateful. Before I even go forward, I just told you I'm going to tell you a short story about my wig. So I bought this wig and I forgot about it because there is so much going on that we are not going out. So struggle is real. Okay, struggle is real. I was showing a few of my friends. They were asking me, girl, you rock those wigs. Can you tell me or recommend me about one? And I said, girl, I got you. So, sorry about that. I'm just hungry. I'm with my lipstick on. This is how you eat this. So, back to business, you guys. No, you don't talk with food in your mouth. That is refreshing. Where was I? To my wig. So today I decided to take it out of the wardrobe and just do nothing. Just wear it. Try it on. I didn't even try it on when I bought it. And uh, I hoped it will fit me. I am telling you, it fits like a damn glove. But that's not the reason why I'm doing this video. The reason, as you can see on my title, is all about me as a Kenyan, an African woman or an African person or a woman of color being in Germany. So I think a few of you guys who are here, who are watching my video, who are already, you know, been to Germany or to European countries can relate. I am going to make it very easy and simple. I'll make my video as short as possible, but you know, I got to nitty gritties because First of all, I have to go back home to my people who think that when you're in European countries that money grows on trees. Guys, you got to work. Women, men, whatever, they work real hard. Real hard. So when we come here, a lot of you say, oh, you're just bragging. You say, oh, you are there. No, I will be just honest. Maybe a few of you will find this. I don't know discriminating or something but it is a truth so I have been in Germany for three years now and uh, March was when I reached my three year old in here celebration okay so and then of course I'm married and um, being here was exciting 
at the same time it was terrifying at the same time it was not easy it was all of those mixed feelings that you can think about okay so I'm just going to share with you a little bit about my experience we are different maybe a few of you who are watching this video or who knows the stories from your friends who have been to European countries that their experience were a little bit different mine is also a different story so first of all guys at home don't think that money just grows here in Germany we call it Deutschland that we just go to an office and we knock and they open hey here you go surprise surprise now you're a millionaire no they work real hard and they pay real hard taxes I am telling you tax 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 that's why a lot of European countries their infrastructure is really on another level that's a point okay so guys please stop with that hey send me one million send me one no we work to people who are here they I'm just gonna start by saying point number one being an African woman in Germany first of all you have to think of your color and where you are for me it is really really different because I live in I don't know I would just use the nest state but here they call them villages but in my country a village is somewhere where I would just say average people live a village but here a village is um yeah, village is an estate where I come from we call estates like I don't know Rundau somewhere you know what I mean and so I, I am the only African I've never in my life for three years seen an African woman an African guy or a woman of color or a guy of color never 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 and so relating or you know the relationship for me you know just trying to cope with the environment was really hard second thing when you when you go out like well, when I go out there is that stare like and in my mind the first thing that crosses is okay why are they staring at me is it that I have something on my clothes or is it that I all those questions and of course being human the first question that rings in your mind is am I doing something wrong am I walking the the right direction like am I supposed to walk right or left or you know what I mean and um like here from my country we drive from the the left side but in Germany they know from the right side wait yeah oh from Germany they they drive from the left side and in my country we drive from the right side so also that was a little bit difficult for me to get it in my head with a bicycle a little very simple simple task to do just riding a bicycle so on the road I used to just ride my bicycle whatever on the on the on the right side like you know in my country but it is totally different here you have to get it in your head people are really disciplined okay that's not the point again that was room no, point number one being here in an estate where I am the only African woman that was the hardest part to deal with until you know I started looking it in another angle going out and breaking that ice guys breaking the ice of oh my god i am not a european woman but i gotta move on it's either you survive or you don't so i had to do it okay and going out meeting these people i would say not all of them are approachable and also it's just half and half I think it's the same like me in my head I'm like am I saying the right thing should I talk to this guy where do they all those questions I think it's the same thing to them but I was saying I have never faced uh, racism in my here while living in Germany I have never faced it I have never you know been talked to by a European person in a way that I will feel oh my god that guy was so racist no actually it is the other way so I will tell you a small story or a short story about why I say European people are not racist but our people can be more racist than you think I was one time we went shopping with my husband so that's a story also I will tell you being an African woman married to a German and what are the consequences that comes with that and you know what you know the hardship that comes with that okay that's really bad so we were with my husband we went shopping and um 
normally of course it was morning day morning um, hours and so I felt okay I want to go to the toilet and then there was of course in every toilet there is someone who cleans there but in this I won't mention the name just to be you know not to be bad and so when I went there there was this African woman I would say a Nigerian trust me a Nigerian and so when I went in there I of course you come out of the toilet and everything else so it was never written that you have to pay and um of course here in germany rules are very clear you know where you're supposed to pay where you don't you know you just have to go in public toilets or whatever just something that is not public you would definitely know and you will see a note and there are rules here you don't have to see a note everywhere they just know when i'm supposed to pay this is not this is free or something so i went in the toilet and of course I come out my husband was waiting for me outside and this african woman was seated outside there i think if you guys people who have been in germany they know or they have experienced such if not in a bad way but they have seen them so she was seated outside you know i had to go in the toilet and outside there was a corridor and she was seated there with a table and a plate a small plate like and so i did not even pay attention like okay but you see her and you know she's responsible for cleaning it's okay i always say hello or or not if 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 she have a, a, a someone talking to you just you're just normal you don't have to make a big deal out of it so you're there to go to the toilet and i went to the toilet and i came out so here is when the hair broke close you guys when i came out walking towards my husband just smiling and saying oh, i'm finished and my husband i did not have my handbag we went shop my husband had took me shopping i think it was valentine's day or something like that and so when i came out she called me you and i thought okay that's definitely someone who knows me maybe my colleagues or something or pff, i don't know and i looked and it was her and i was so happy oh my god she just wanted to say hi and what blah 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 no guys she stopped me and I was like, yes, just smiling. And she said, where do you think you're going? And I thought, okay, did I forget something? Oh, wait, I did not have something when I was going to the toilet. And I asked, what? And direct my blood just boiled. I mean, my heart just skipped a bit. Her tone of voice, I knew, oh, this is trouble. This is trouble. And so she asked me, where do you think you're going? And I said, what? Do I know you? Okay. So you just come in the toilet. You flash. You, you, you just come out. You see me seated here. And you don't even pay me. <gasps> what? I was like, and I was the, she was there, of course, an African woman. And I was the only one there. The rest of the people, they were male, of course, and, and um, female uh, European people. Deutsch uh, people and so it was so embarrassing and she went forward she was like you just come in here you don't even give me some one euro she was not asking she was demanding like i owe her like i have to i have to you know what i mean and we oh, my husband was like do you know her i said no i have never met her in my life i don't i don't it was so clear my mind just because I have seen such stories on Facebook where people do this and so I went forward and asked her excuse me if you need me to give you some money first of all you can ask politely and you have to ask me if I have some money it doesn't mean everybody who's walking on the road they they have money no she was really rude it was bad I had a bad day since then I had to just tell her that's really wrong what you're doing and you don't have to do that it's really bad you get paid and I had to look around maybe I'm supposed to pay but I'm not supposed to later I we had a group we have a Facebook group here Germany women you know and so I was just sharing my experience and I realized I am not the only one who have gone through that remember this is an African woman and since I'm in Germany for three years I have never experienced such a thing okay so and also in this is really I, I wouldn't say the name but one of our public or government offices I have also done a video on Facebook in this group where I say what just happened to me and 
for the longest time ever since I have been in German offices one of the best experience I have had is there but in our offices just I cannot even say I cannot even mention how bad it is or it, it it's always been so I would say I've never experienced racism from people you know from Deutsche people but from my people I would say it's really others maybe you will find it I am just bad but I'm just sharing my experience maybe for you is on the other hand is it's on the other you know another different story and so that's what I mean and also another thing is um, it's just something I picked on the way being an African here the only way or the easy way for you to make it without having so much difficulties is to stand out just to stand out like I'll give you an example for me I go to school and so I am the only African war if they are they are only me and another guy but most of the time I have always been the only African in class and so everyone is looking at you like you don't go to school you are poor you need help so you have to make that step to show them hey hey I am here I I am able so there is that gap where you have to fill in with positivity you have to stand out and so for me I have been able to do that it's not like I'm trying to prove myself but the moment you feel that you are not wanted that everyone is looking down at you you find it so hard to get even outside you know just to go and relate because you would think everybody is looking at you like a failure like someone you know an outcast of course that's how you feel a monkey in the zoo for me i felt that for years or one year or something before i could blend in and so being here guys it's not as easy as most of you think back at home back in kenya or back in africa most of you think now you are in a european country you are drinking gold and milk and sunshine no you guys no it's actually a different story another thing is about food oh my god don't even get me started this is banana juice i have never in my life drunk banana juice back in my country we have normal juice and we have of course fruits which are direct from our farms fresh and everything but here most of the things are imported and so it's, it's just different they're so expensive to find it's just really different so i will tell you the last time i ate um <coughs> sorry we have uh, some vegetables back in my country that we call skumawiki and mboga kienyeji. That means they're from gardens and uh, they need sun. They need a special weather, which is not here in, in Germany. And so the last time I ate those vegetables was back when I was in Kenya. That's like August, if I'm not wrong. And that happens if I'm here longer so I can forget about enjoying the meals from my country. So that's more like it food is one of the things that you realize how important they were in your life or they are until you don't eat those things that you used to eat until you don't drink that nice fresh blended juice that you used to drink i mean every time you go to the supermarket or when i go to the supermarket the first thing i could look for was my vegetables and my husband could not help it because he don't understand what i'm talking about he could see vegetables and he tell me what do you want everything is here i'm like there is absolutely nothing here if i don't see my skumawiki if i don't see my normal garden chicken meat if i don't see this if i don't see this that's one of the things that makes you feel like an outcast first you are here i don't i cannot find my food i cannot find something to cook you're back in the house you went shopping for three five hours forever and you have bought nothing because first of all you know nothing about this fruit that you have found 
So you will start feeling like you're starving and you will say, why am I starving? I'm in Germany and my husband can afford this. What? All of these things running in your head, guys, it's more than just stress. It's more than just more than just you know feeling like an outcast feeling like you know you don't belong but also day by day that's normal you guys you just have to know what's happening and you have to know how to deal with your situation for me i did that because i knew it's not gonna be easy but when you're in that situation you don't think like that you just know it's gonna be like this forever but that's not true okay and so food is another challenge now the biggest and the worst for me coming from a country where we have sun like forever was the weather. I was never used on wearing jackets. I don't even know if I owned more than three heavy jackets. So when I came here, my husband had already bought me a jacket that was heavy than me, was heavier than my handbag that carries the whole house. So I want to say that was one, and I could not understand why I have to wear this, why the weather is so much, why the weather is punishing me so much, why everything doesn't, why everything is like this. I mean, I just wanted to quit and go back. I had to start shopping for heavy trousers. I had to wear socks. I had, I had to wear gloves I mean now at that point that's when I said oh my god what have I done what am I doing here I need to go by in your mind you just sometimes even say it loud and your husband or your friend or whoever you're living with is like okay what can I do just to make this easy for you and you're like oh take me back to my country please you be watching me like but it's not as easy and so for me that is and food food and, and weather that is something that is really really was really challenging for me at the moment girl look at me I fit perfectly okay oh. cheers to that okay so another thing is language barrier guys i want to tell you i want to share this with whoever is watching from kenya or from another country if you're preparing yourself to come here i will just share a tip that i think will be 100 percent helpful okay so in germany the biggest percentage of people they speak deutsch that is german language so but in Netherlands, it's really different. That's the neighboring country where I was when I came here. I We used to go there, spend, we used to travel there. And so I, it was really easy for me to find people who speak English. And so here in Germany, well, it's another story. Most of them speak German. Okay, when your husband is working or your wife or whoever you're living with is not in the house and you have to go outside and you don't even know how to say hello in German. Maybe you go to the shop. Maybe it's an old lady who's there on just, you know, person who don't speak English and you need to buy one or three things. Maybe medicine, you know, maybe you just fell sick in the house and you cannot just, you know, and don't say there is Google, there is this. No, no one way of breaking the ice even in your own area is no more talking no more conversation with people but on the phone that will even make your life even harder because conversation changes everything okay so if you cannot even say hello in germany you cannot even say excuse me you cannot even say oh i'm sorry you cannot even say hi it is one of the hardest moment of your life you want to go, maybe you go to the to the hospital and you want to explain yourself. You had a headache the whole week and you're there and you just need this doctor to help you out. And you cannot even explain yourself. You cannot even say, excuse me, doctor, I have had this headache for years and I just want your help. I mean, you know, when you do that, it's also another story because <sighs> problem shared is a problem solved. 
But if Google have to share your problem for you, the Google is happy, okay? So, if you're planning to come here, it, it, it's okay, you have to go, uh, yeah, you have to pay. But I will just tell you, go to school. It's only three months. Three months. And of course, not Saturday, not, not Sunday, you go to school. Weekly, okay, and I think they make normally one day a break during the week So let's say two and a half months you have to learn. I tell you why this is important When you are here you will be Visiting a lot of offices that will be your first step when you're here. You don't find money on the road Okay, that's what most of the people think you're not on holiday That is going to be a dream for you if you think you're coming here for holiday if you are that's another story You know like me when we plan to go to Kenya we plan to go on holiday So that's another case. We don't need my husband don't need to learn Swahili or English or no But to live here like the way for me you need that when you are here for that language, it's going to make you even feel much, much better because you find it, you know, on the road. Hello, we get this. They are good. So that makes you even smile. And also when you're going, oh, my point was for going to these offices, every time you will need, you will meet someone who will they are not your your sisters and the moment they see you you go to these offices where they make sure that the person who is here is capable and when you go to these offices and they just ask you a, a, a question not in english and you cannot answer they will look at you i have hard case i have had that case one time where i was shy to speak german I thought I cannot speak good, but this woman only from the office just wanted to see how capable I was. And so there, these are the steps to follow, you know, from the embassy, coming here, living here, are you capable, does, you know, all of that. So, and um, I had to make sure, even if you speak broken, that's better than nothing. They will be so proud of you actually, and they will just laugh, not in a bad way, and say, wow. Exactly. So don't think that coming here without the German language, you say, oh, I will, I will come here to learn. Second thing you have to understand, learning German in Kenya is easy. Why? They teach in English your normal language and it is so easy to understand. And if you don't understand, you can direct ask. But here they teach in German and you're learning German. So learning a language that they are teaching you with you see so this is a tip that i wanted to share because my first experience with uh with the embassy i did not have my a1 german certificate that is the german language certificate once you finish your course you get it so i and later when i finally found or when i received my my visa it was nothing really that I have added in my documents it was easy I had all my documents but when I added this German you know the document everything changed it made all the difference okay so I'm just sharing my experience and yeah take it or leave it just saying and so that was kind of of it and um of course you will see some also one other challenge is people staring at you and wanting just to i don't know just they show you um that there is that smile like um <laughs> you know that's just smile that doesn't even add up there was one time or most of the times when I'm taking the bus here at home, like now it's almost summer and uh, I stand there, of course, and um, there comes these cars. It's on the road and a uh, bus station. And then I'm standing there, of course, and you just hear beep, 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 beep. And you look and you think it's someone you know and you just see this guy, not even a woman, a guy. I think they look at me and they're like, this girl is, you know, I don't want to say the name, like selling it because I'm standing on the road. They don't know me. I don't know them. We never met. And so 
that can only mean one thing and they don't really stop you know when someone stops when they say pee pee and stops and say hi how are you that's another case but they just pee pee and drive on and make sure i don't see their faces so you just think okay what is that for and that really pisses me off and you could see others just stare at you they don't say it but you see in there you can just read their mind they're like just go back to your country but they don't say it and they are those who just tells you direct oh my god you are beautiful like where i go to school i have an amazing class the people there are just amazing we are two africans one from nigeria and me and so when we talk you know you just share your ideas they just tell me hey you're married to a German. I cannot believe you don't have a baby. Your baby will be like, I don't know who. They would just like chocolate or they call it cappuccino babies with those curly hairs and everything. And you're so, oh my God, you should be in a magazine. Blah, blah, blah. So overall for me, all of this experience I have had, I would say being in Germany, you need to be disciplined. Okay. Like, like in my country, they have those things that we do like throwing trash on the road just trashing you know everything together here that is called Mülltrennung like you have to sort plastic, glass, paper, carton everything have uh, Christmas trees, trees, metal I mean everything you have to sort together and put everything separate okay you have to be disciplined you can you will find it so hard at first believe me but the moment you break that ice with the people that you relate with and of course at first nothing will make sense to you absolutely not not even anyone will tell you something that you will, you will feel comfortable with no you will be in your own cocoon you will feel not wanted, you have stress, trust me, it's normal, but that doesn't mean it will kill you. I'm still alive and I had the worst breakdown ever because I did not have anyone like to relate with, you know, my color, you know, who speak the same language, but I think it's normal. You just have to get through it and move on. Now, I am the teacher okay and so you have just to believe in yourself and you will be great i think there are people who are watching this and they're like how do i make it in germany how is it there it's really i cannot recommend anyone i have gone i have visited a few countries here in europe and i would say i have had good experiences of course i cannot say it's perfect because people are different but i would say it's good experience back in my country it is it is it's africa it's a different story but that's story for another day which i would tell you guys so i would just i hope i have made this so short i hope it's not so boring but i just wanted to share that with you guys just when you come in deutschland trust me it's beautiful it's nice it's just comfortable it's secure it's security oh my god god it's to another level i cannot so far i would say i i'm happy really happy i cannot think of anywhere else i want to be of course africa kenya is my home i can i can go the end of the world i can never change that but moving forward of course it's, it's another thing and i have to make a decision now i'm married and i have to know of course the decision that i made is already made i am here now it's either i stay here or i turn back and go and so my decision is to stay here you know in future if there comes something that we have to go back to kenya well, well and good but at the moment i can only talk about what i feel and my experience and i hope it stays like this so germany i would say it's it's really great it's really really great just just don't be afraid you just have to be disciplined just you know be someone who wants to know research what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do there are really real real rules here and people follow them that's why you don't hear so many cases of what who did who what did what no of course they are there but very few which is of course people are different and so 
just know you are coming to a safe place for me i would say it's the best really the best well that's all for me today and i will see you in my next video i will be talking about how i met my husband and how we got married the challenges what we went through you don't want to miss that there is so much so much you will learn from that and so much you want to hear that i think will interest you so i hope to see you guys in my next video don't forget to like recommend this video to your friends i just don't know what you can do just like it don't forget to click on that bell subscribe do whatever and just stay safe be happy and god bless you all and i love you Mwah.